you are a legend in the Latino community in Lucha Libre. What does it feel like that now there's a comic book now, there's movies coming out, and everything's starting to happen all over? Bueno, yo creo que ahorita eh, para mí es una nueva etapa donde todo un universo se va a crear alrededor de Blue Demon Jr. Una etapa donde me toca cosechar ya después de 38 años de carrera. Todo lo que hizo mi padre ya quedó. Ahora es tiempo de Blue Demon Jr. Y creo definitivamente que los proyectos que vienen como el cómic, que es justamente el prólogo de la película, es para empezar a decir a la gente el porqué de la película. Viene la serie, vienen cosas nuevas, viene un reality, vienen muchas, muchas cosas nuevas. Y creo que qué mejor te, te puedo decir que los escritores los tengo aquí del cómic, Eugenio Villamar, Dan Carrillo, y bueno, en la parte de la ilustración es el rulo, y muy contentos porque realmente están haciendo lo que es muy difícil, plasmar una historia real de dónde viene la máscara, de, 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 del porqué de Blue Demon Jr., y plasmarlo para la gente de la nostalgia y en la vida actual. And that's the one thing, like with this comic book, for for you, for you too, when getting the inspiration and developing this, what was it like for you and working with Blue Demon, especially with the the legendary career, and to tell his story in this format? Well, the the character has existed from the from since the 40s, and that's where it evolved in, into now Blue Demon Jr. And for us, as you know, filmmakers and screenwriters. And, and now comic book writers as well, it's very important to bring back the generation of the sci-fi genre of the original Blue Demon that, that, that fought monsters, that was like almost like a 007, like a Batman. So we wanted to revive that genre into different, different scenarios, different enterprises. One of them was film, television, and of course comic book, which is what we're presenting right now. Through the comic book, we're starting to, like, the, it's the preamble to that, to that revival of the genre. And that's really our, our intention, to bring back all that, that, that lives in the ethos of our Latinos. And specifically Mexicans, that we are, uh, you know, we grew up in Mexico with the character. For us, uh, Blue Demon is not only a luchador, it's our Batman. And, and we have the fortune to, to have a Batman that walks amongst us. So it's, it, it was really cool to work on it. And I don't know, Dan, if you want to add something to what I said. Um, you know, it's it's an icon. It's it's very unique to get the opportunity to work with something that it's already means something to so many people, and it already evoked so many emotions and ideas in our heads. So it is a very unique opportunity to work with someone that we love, that we also admire, and to tell a story that no one has ever seen before, and a story that just reflects what we want to see on screen. Like when we write, we write because we love it, right? And for us, this has been a passion project, and we love what the mask means, what the man means, but also what we believe this universe means to us and we want to share with the world. And Lucha Films are so popular right now in South Pasadena. Our friends Penta and Ray Phoenix show Lucha Films every Saturday, and they've been sold out ever since they started. To now go into this new generation of people who probably never experienced them, are experiencing them secondhand through Republica Lucha and other stores, stores like that. What does it feel like to be a part of that now and to bring back that style? It's, it's a little bit scary and daunting at the same time because there's already a fan base to what was done before. And at the same time, you've got to grab the new audience, people that don't even know that these other movies exist. So it's very tricky to get to be honoring a legacy while at the same time creating a new universe and also a new legacy for what is Blue Demon Jr. But we are just happy the way that all this community that loves this type of stories has embraced the ideas and our proposal and also our creative vision. Independientemente de eso, bueno, creo que tú hablaste de dos personajes, de Penta y de Red Phoenix. Ellos son parte de lo que yo he creado para el mundo de la lucha libre, son mis alumnos y te repito, creo que han, han destacado el medio de la lucha libre, pero vendrían siendo de alguna manera parte de lo que yo he dejado en la lucha libre también. And, and you've inspired so many people in the wrestling business and as a luchador. With, I mean, Rey Mysterio has talked about you. Uh, Samurai del Sol has talked about you. 
what has that legacy have been like to the Latino community for you? Because for us, you're our superhero, and it's and the only superhero we had for a very long time. Bueno, primeramente, yo creo que yo no me considero un superhéroe. Eh, lo he dicho, los superhéroes son prototipos de, de lo perfecto y yo no me considero perfecto, soy un ser humano, eh, tengo la cualidad de equivocarme y por lo tanto soy un antihéroe, creo que la gente está cansada de los prototipos, está cansada de, de todo aquello bonito, ahora quieren lo oscuro, quieren lo, lo que realmente tiene la verdadera esencia del ser humano y para mí dejarle este legado a la gente, dejarle esta, esta historia, esta historia de sacrificio y de lucha, es muy importante. And that leads to my final question about the mask. The mask is like so holy in our culture to tell the story about the mask. How important is it? Because a lot of people see the masks, but they don't realize the cultural importance and how important it is to not only luchadores, but to the Latino culture. Yeah, I guess as storytellers, the mask was something that we needed to, to respect as it is. Uh, being Mexicans, we, like we generally say, we, we all have our icons that uh, this, this guy, this mask is, is not, only, not only a man, it's, only, it's also an icon. It's something that goes beyond humans, you know, it's, it's beyond our civilization. And for us, that is very important to respect. The, the character that we design goes with that. It's a character that follows the dogma of, of someone that doesn't reveal his face. And someone that, you know, keeps behind the mask, keeps in the shadows. And it's very important to keep that ethos in, in, in the character. So as storytellers, it is very difficult to translate that to other people, for example, to take it to mainstream, to make it understand people that are not Latinos, that there's a man that doesn't take the mask off. It's insane. No one really, when we tell that story, it's really, is that really happening? Is that true? So for us as storytellers, we need to keep that as a, as a cultural re relevant icon that it's there. And we need to take it to the mainstream and explain it that that's part of our culture. So that was a challenge and that's, we're going to keep fighting for it. And we're going to keep exploring that character in that way. Exactly. Thank you so much for stopping with us. We really appreciate it. Comic book is coming out this fall yes. in October. Right. Movie's coming soon. It's still in development. Yeah. So definitely, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for being a part of News by Muse and this week of uh, pro this week in pro wrestling. And we look forward to talking with you again soon when the comic book comes out and the film. Gracias. Gracias. Gracias.